This week on Arts and Soul, join me as I explore one of the top ceramic pot manufacturers here in Ghana, Matamis Pottery. This is Arts and Soul, let's go. Welcome to Arts and Soul. I'm your host, Melissa Award, and I am sitting with Emmanuel Nanakwami Ado. He is responsible for being the biggest exporter of ceramic pots in West Africa. We're going to have a conversation with him and explore what this is all about. Don't go anywhere. Art, soul, art, soul. <laughs> Hi, Nanakwami. How are you? Hi, Melissa. Doing well. Yeah? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's afternoon already. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, so we're here. You're we're welcome. Here. Thank you. We're here at your factory. I love your factory. I was telling you actually off camera that it reminds me of like a piece of Morocco, yeah, you like said. Marrakesh. I like the smell and the authenticity. So tell me about this. How long has this been up and running? Uh, Matamis itself as a company has been doing pots since 1993. Um, this factory we are sitting in was built and set up in 2003. Wow. Yeah. And the Matamis is, um, comes from your mother's name. Tell us yeah, about her that. Her maiden name, she's Matilda Emisa, so M-A-T for Matt, A-M-I-S-S for Emisa. Mm -hmm. She started the business and I took over as of the year 2003 mm -hmm. and it's been there. Wow. Yeah. I wanted to continue the legacy she started, mm -hmm. so I owned the name and then I pushed, I've been pushing the business ever since. Wow. And she's walking around. I yeah, <laughs> she's, she's still part of the business. She's, she's the founder. She, she still works um, in a different jurisdiction or a different department. Mm -hmm. But I mean, one of the things is that she's got so much in-depth knowledge about the business. So on and off, we take her advice. On and, on and off? Uh, yeah, on and off. I mean, um, experience she has, uh, fluidity and rapidness I have mm -hmm. so one of the things I always say that she's the experienced one I am the revolution mm -hmm. my job is to drive it forward and make sure it doesn't sink okay. and then her job is to keep us in checks and balancing of course yeah. I mean that's what mothers do mother's well, business women you know well, I know she's proud of you no I was telling us like yeah she's not your mom because she's just looking young and fresh yeah, well, she's like she's on vacation now nah, she's my daughter <laughs> yeah she's my daughter but um the good thing is that um she started a business yeah. and um, it's her drive and her passion that got us to a certain point. Yeah. But the idea was that we're supposed to move from a certain era to another era. So it's been like a transition. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's been. Um, I'm the next generation after her. Hopefully my daughter should be able to man it. Yeah. We're looking to make Mata Miss a household name. Mm -hmm. That's just been my focus. That um, Now in Ghana, I can boldly say that... Um, if you pick 10 homes and you find pots in 10 homes, seven to eight, six, seven, and eight will be a matter miss pot. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. it's been hard work. Of course. I mean, nothing really long lasting comes easy at the end of the day. And I like what you said, you know, it looks like you want to, to not it looks like you are trying to make this a generational thing. Um, so let's talk about you being the largest exporter of ceramic pots in West Africa. That's a big title to hold. Um, and you're just calmly here, like, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, <laughs> everyday it's, life. It's, to be honest with you, it's been hard work. Yeah. It's, it's been, it's been hell. It's, it, I mean, it's been hell and back every day for me. But the fact of the matter is that I've, I've been to most of the West African countries. Um, previously, decade and a half, two decades ago, Ghana had some really huge, very huge ceramic clay pot factories, um, Ceramic Atemaklo, um, Unique Ceramics. Those were even the people I learned from. I walked under them. Mm. I saw them, I traveled with them, with my mom to trade fairs and trade. So that was when the export boom was, was there. 
But no, there was like a proper industry industry. Yes. So 15 years ago, the industry just started shrinking, and it's been like that. So I needed to reorchestrate how or re redefine the com company's focus to get it here. It was that or collapse the business. So tell me about the sacrifices, because with this comes sacrifices. Talk to me about that. Or, or is it, it going to take you to a, uh, a deep place? No, well, at the end of the day, we've, we've made it. We, we are here. I mean, um, one, when I got into this business in 2003, my focus was the local market. Mm -hmm. To me, if there were one million homes in Ghana, that was two million pots to be sold. Because I'm assuming that every home in Ghana was going to buy two pots a piece. So the idea was that if it's two pots a, two pots a piece, that's two million pots. And that's, that's where I took my bearing from. My idea was to take the pots to the local market. And then I always saw it this way. All the uh, craft companies, all, or all the clay companies were built solely to export. Mm. So when the exports were dying, there was no substitute. There was no backup plan. So I saw an opportunity in the local market. So I always say that, look, I'm one of the first people that would build a blue pot and put it out on the market. And when you're doing the proof, ah, but would this work? How is it going to work? Who's going to buy a blue pot? Who will buy an orange pot? Who will buy a yellow pot? And I'm like, look, give it a try. Because I always say that people's tastes vary. And that was where I took my inspiration from. Let's, let's make gardens exciting. Let's, let's make it interesting and draw people in. That's what I've done. And that's what has kept the business going. Then, back then as well, we were having issues with electricity, being stable and all of that. I, I had to improvise again. We were, were dependent on using machines for production and all of that. I cut it off and then I brought it down to manual production where we're doing most of our production by hand. So I always say 75%, 80% of our production is done by hand. So what happens is if the light goes off, we are still working. If the light comes on, it's a bonus or a plus. And that's what we've done. So what we've been able to build is, is, is this. We are producing 100% handmade products. That's what we are selling on the open market. That's good to know. No, it's always nice to know that people are satisfied with the progress. And that you don't regret. I mean, you've put so many years into this. You've watched your mom put so much into it. So be able to smile and say that you're happy. I think, uh, you know, everybody who's bark embarking on this journey should be able to say the same thing. I want to talk about your educational background. I want to talk about Osnana Kwame sitting somewhere saying, do you know what, one day I want to dominate the local markets for whatever reason. I don't know what it is, but it's going to happen. Or where you like, I want to be an engineer. Which one was it? Well, my highest education is junior secondary school. Mm -hmm. After junior secondary school, I've never been to school again. Mm -hmm. um, but there's been one thing that's worked for me my whole life. I, I've been able to think outside the box. I, I've never had any obstacle that has been able to keep me down. I'm, I'm thinking, because to me, this is it. School or no school. People go to school to acquire knowledge. What I am doing is I am living the knowledge they need to acquire. The practical... Yes. Um, I, have, I have... I took this business when it had hit rock bottom. And personally, my life had hit rock bottom. I had just been deported from the UK. Young man, 23 years. I want to do something. I was selling computers. And then one day something crazy happens and boom. I'm like, look... Mom's business is there, it's sunk, but I think I could take this and make it look different. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be a walk in the park. I was expecting it to be tough. I knew it was going to be tough. It's, it's always been tough. But the fact of the matter is it's never been able to put me down. There, there are days, as a person, the energy drops. I mean, it sinks. And you, you just want to give up and go. But, hey, listen, this is what it's been. I didn't build a business for the money. I built a business that was going to run the marathon, go the furthest race I could find. It's a perfect opportunity for you. You call but, it but, opportunity is when you have money. No. Oh. You, no, but you've proven that, you see? you see. And that's the misconception that we have so many times. What, one, of the, one of the things I always tell people is that when I meet people who are entrepreneurs or startups, I feel so sorry for them. 
it's look in some parts of the world to get a business loan or to get finance for an idea if the people giving you the money look at it they assess the fact, oh look this is genuine this this has a long span a long future the interest rate you're even going to get you're talking three five percent in ghana you're talking 27 percent 25 percent 30 percent so before you even start your idea or your dream it's failed off in an ideal world this is what i say some people birth ideas that is worth supporting banks governments when you go to asia Governments have financed simple ideas. In Africa, it's a different ball game. So with me, we've crawled here. It's like being in a barrel amongst a million crops. Nobody's supposed to make it out, no matter how hard you try. You, the, the target is for nobody to be able to get out of the barrel. We crawled out. Yeah. We don't have a million dollars in the bank. But what we have is, for once we control our production, we rule or we can determine what product should go on the market, what should be the next big thing, how the next big thing should be. That's what we do. And that alone, to me, is enough. Is enough. We, we, we're doing better. The, the, the years ahead is crazy. This year, we are owning all the West African spaces. We are mm. sitting everywhere. Yeah, I, I... Ghana, Ghana. Ghana to the world. Ghana beyond the world. Beyond the, so there's a beyond. Yeah, there's a beyond. The reason is that, listen, um, everywhere I go, I try to let people understand that this is Ghana. This is me. Look at my life, my story, and let it motivate you to do better than me. That is, even if you have a senior secondary school certificate, a diploma, or a degree. Because nobody in any part of the world would po point out to you that, Kwame, you could get here or you could have gotten here. We, we all didn't know anything. When we were starting this business, we didn't know anything about clay. My mom wasn't cooking pots. And all of us in this house, we built ourselves. We've learned it. I'm in my room, and the youngest person here can say, oh, Niamh and the pots are cooked. It takes learning. It's hands on the job. And you have to be able to trust the people you work with. Fully, 100%. There's no sideways. Wow. We can learn a lot. So when's your book coming out? Uh, <laughs> uh, that uh, me. That's the next step. Well, I'm working on it. Books, speaking engagements. Are you doing that already? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But not even in Ghana. Outside. You see. Outside. Don't worry, we'll talk about that in just a moment, guys. We're going to go on a quick break, actually. We have a lot more to talk about. And when we come back from the break, we're going to be giving you the 101 of making ceramic pots. Yes, step by step with Nana Kwame himself. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So, art and so. the steps and the pot is actually ready so it is time to put the finishing touches on we're ready to paint let's go all right so i'm here with nana kwami nana kwami now it's time to put on the finishing touches i'm excited about this because painting is probably all i know how to do 
and probably not very well. But I'm going to do a great job. I don't want to make you nervous. Oh, gosh. No, I'm, I'm, you're I'm nervous. Listening. No, no, I'm fine. Look, I'm going to do a great job. I don't know what you're talking about. So you've got your painting. I we have do, my paint and my we brush. Do two sets of painting. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we try to do is that we are limitless when it comes to colors. Any color that comes to mind, we do it. So greedy blue, orange. Everything. So um, clients can actually call that. We want this color, this shade, this shade. We mix it right here. So all the master painters, that's what they do. Okay. And that's the last step for the pots to leave the house and go to the clients. And actually, speaking of master painter, I have his brush. Yes. I'm honored. It's one of the old brushes in town. Mm. And he's one of the old painters you can find. Three decades in the business. Wow. Yeah. This is serious stuff. So, Let's Melissa, mm. your first phase is to pick your paint. Wait a We are using... This color or this color? You can use this. Don't worry. You use this. Use the orange. Pick the paint. That's what they told yeah. me. Hey. Not so deep, oh, Melissa. Ah. Yes. It's so like when you want to glaze a donut. Yeah, so that, so just clean the, the mouth of clean the brush. the mouth? Oh, I'm yeah. spilling. Yes, yeah, so that it doesn't spill uh -huh. when it comes out. So now, you hold your pot firmly Very and then firmly. start applying. So you want to make a line. Hmm. Hey, hey. You're doing a good job. I know. <laughs> Keep going. You actually had to So the idea is that you want to spread the paint as wide as you can. Oh, I thought I was making the line first. Take off and then do all this, what you're doing. Slowly and gently, so that all the areas would have the paint. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop until you've covered the whole area. I know your people are looking at me like, what is she doing? Oh, you, you're doing well. I mean, you can actually hold the... Um, the the brush some people can't even hold the brush at all it's not true it's true have you seen it before yes oh. and then the good thing is that most women are painters already mm -hmm. you guys can actually paint mosaics and everything on your faces so it's understandable it's quite beautiful i mean when i see the paint that so, was shady no it's not it's not we don't appreciate I mean, that it's a full-time appreciation of what you guys do I, i'm really really proud of the you're being Picasso's shady. You're and, being shady. Oh no. <laughs> Should we paint your face? <laughs> well, I would like to experience that. I mean, you guys make it look. This is where it's like you pick a pot, an ordinary pot, and you paint it, and it's world class. That's how I. So when I see women on makeup, the first thing I picture is my pot. Like, oh, this pot will look so good in this paint. Like the painter is so good, so. You know you're making it worse. No, no, no. You no, just no. likened our makeup skills to painting a pot. Yes, yes. Look, painting a pot. First is of all, our so face is not a hard surface. It's soft and beautiful. So Thank are the you. pots too. I it's like it. Very... It's not bad. Yeah, so or what do you think? Me I mean, you're the down. you're the professional. So you see what I done. So what did you the do? reason I made you leave the line was that you were going to put a gold on the tip. My line is. So you have to be able to cover. The base as well, so do the base as well. Just like how I've been yes. doing. Yes, 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 yes. yes I'm yes. a fast learner. You're good. Yes. I mean, and then you are, you are a natural. Women are born natural painters, ain't they? Especially the new ones coming up. We're just gonna leave this conversation. Um, so you gotta be able to you see it's it's spilling. <gasps> no, 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 no. Huh? So just keep spreading. Good. Doing a good job. Thank you. So that's just the first phase, and then. Beautiful. Keep, keep, keep at it. Elisa, I as so, as so I didn't know today when you put a pen on. You don't need to look, oh, hold sorry. it. Oh, Family, sure. command it like you're commanding, like you're a military officer with his gun and you're doing stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. So when we are done like this, we actually put it on the sun. Okay to make it dry a little, very dry, before we touch the oil. So you're done with the first phase. So okay. what we are going to do now is that we are going to wait for the oil. Hopefully it's drying out soon. All right, so we're going to wait for the oil, guys. Just give us one second. All right, so the pot is dry. So now it's time for the next phase. And you know, Nana Kwame, I realize in this business, you have to ignore the haters, right? <laughs> I right. think so. All right, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there because people will say that you haven't painted the pot nicely and you have. Am I, I'm, I'm, I, are you understanding? I am really understanding. No, you're not the hater. Yeah, but the thing is that your, bi your biggest focus is that you want to satisfy your clients. Exactly. So even your haters are your biggest clients. Oh, why did you guys say that? <laughs> okay, forget everything I just said. All right, so I'm dipping, not yes, too deep. Not too deep. I had a tutorial, guys. That's, what you, that's how bad I am at painting. Okay, so not too deep. Then you clean the brush. 
cleaning it well. Are you guys watching? Make sure all the paint goes out. You all so of clean, it. Clean it, and you do the swivel thing. Yes. And then so you do it again. Here. Come up here. Okay, somewhere so that's see. Ah, okay, good. It's working. As much as you can. Okay. You're good to go. I'm good so to go. Now start from the base gently. And so, so what does this? So this seals in the paint because this is an yes, oil base, that's what right? That's At least it has to spread all over. Oh, so exactly. gently, not just on one side. If not, one side is going to be deeper. Are you going to be proud putting this pot in your office? Yeah. You sure? No. Okay. So keep at it. Okay. Let so me now pick it, it up like uh -huh, this, okay. like how I've got it. Should I dip again? No, don't dip again. Okay, With okay. the same dipping. Okay. Then. Okay, I understand. Melissa, the tip of the brush is what you want to use. Oh. The tip. Uh -huh. It's still just like putting on makeup. You won't put the whole hard surface of makeup on your face. You understand? The brush. Just the tip. The tip does the trick. So it, it, as you're doing it, then you're turning the pot in your hand so that it goes all around. <laughs> Yes, because you dipped it, you see there's still paint in there. Yeah. That's that, and that's what you want to use. You want to finish it. The reason you clean it is to get the paint out of it as much as you can, and then just you just do the brushing. Quickly. But then when we add the top color, like the gold, do we have to do this whole dipping process again? With the gold? Yeah. No, the gold is more accurate. Done. We're done. You've done a good job. Wow. That's nice. So now the next phase is we are going to put on our gold. So the next phase is that we're going to put on our gold. All right, is this the final stage? This is the final this one. Is this is the final stage. One. So we have gold. Gold, gold, gold. It's been advised that we use gold. You advise yeah, so us. So we can use bronze. So you will see some of the pots, it's gold and bronze. It's um, silver. You can use anything to pick. It's just to be able to give it a two-tone sheen. Yeah. It's nicer. It is. So, right, so now you, that's right. your gold. You've dipped in. Oh, Keep, so dip in. dip again. Yeah. Mm, this all right this gently the and then business. siphon the paint off so as much as you can yes right? it's all right you're it's good okay. to go now all righty guys <coughs> so you know you have a line to follow yes follow the line this one can i go so i go this way that's exactly how you go ma'am good oh, i even like your placement oh where's the gold means you didn't pick enough you gotta go back and pick again. You gotta go back, guys. Go, go in, go in again. It's all right. Okay. Now I siphon it all off. Uh huh. Now I can see. I can see the siphoning. It's all right. So now let's go back. Gently pick the line, half of the brush first. Oh. Good. So go. Woohoo! Keep going. My fingers getting. Cold. A little bit. me one out of ten what would you give me you got to be honest because you've been nice so far I need honesty in this business we need honesty um, if you saw this pot in the shop would you buy it see see that's not what I asked you no, but I asking, asked you I mean if you saw this pot in the shop in, in the shop would you buy it what what time of day is it because <laughs> it depends <laughs> if it's night or the, I don't know am I not okay midnight <laughs> Is it like a bohemian theme? <laughs> I'm one out of ten. Okay, I, 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 
if it was for like two CDs, yeah. No, uh, this pot will sell for like ten CDs, and someone will buy it and not know where it's come. Where it's, but to be honest with you, you've done a good job. You still haven't rated. Uh, one out of ten, I'd give you a six. Really? For the first day, yeah. To be honest, oh, I that's mean, actually really high. Yeah, yeah, six. I'll do six. I'll do six. You've done well. Thank you. You've done well. Wait, so in in the painting world, can we do like clink? You know how they do cheers. Oh, okay. So cheers. Yeah. You've done a good job. Thank you. No, thank you to you. Thank you for your master painter who actually taught me, gave me off-camera tutorials because um, he knew I'd need their help. But thank you to you and um, thank you for allowing us in to your business, uh, to your dream, um, to Mama Matilda. Thank you that, that this has been possible because of her and that you guys have kept at it. And then um, for those at home that actually want to get in touch with you, um, and where can we find some of your pieces um, specifically other than in and around Ghana. <laughs> we want specific places, or do they have to come here? Uh, well, this is the base. This is the base. Yeah, you got a tight base. Yeah. Um, we're looking for partners all over the place, that's one. But I prefer people to come to Gulf City. Gulf this City. is where it's from. This is where we cook the food from, and we are serving from here. So come and take your, 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 your part of the bite. Right here in Tema. Right here in Tema, Gulf City. Um, they can actually call me or WhatsApp me on 024 um, 332 Four five zero nine zero two four three three two four five zero nine, or follow me on Instagram, um, Matamis Pottery. That is M A T A M I S S Pottery. P O T T E R Y on Instagram. Follow me. Get in touch. Let's talk. And if you want to learn, if you want to use it as a hobby, if you want to do your gardens, you're doing extreme gardens, and then you want to just pass by during the day to calm yourself down, watch clay or what pots being made. It's wow. open. The house is always open. We work from Monday to Sunday. Wow. 24 hours. 24 hours. It's a full engine running 24 hours. That's what we do. Fantastic. So, so the engine breaks down. It won't. Well, mm. you're trying. Okay, okay. Well, thank you. No, thank you very much. I'm excited. So I clearly I'm keeping this. This is yours. I mean, <laughs> you, you won't buy it during the day. You buy it in the middle of the night. So what can I say? Yours looks excellent, but you are the, you are the I, professional. Well, I'm not giving this to you anyway. <laughs> this, I'll keep it. That's fine. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. We're going to be back next time for another episode of Art and Soul. A huge thank you to Matt and Miss Pottery and everybody here making this possible. You guys, you have to come out to Gulf City. Seriously, there are some fantastic, fantastic pots. You guys coming out and check them out. And, of course, purchase their Made in Ghana goods right here. We'll see you next time. Art, soul, art and soul.